Hey, what's up everybody? So today I wanna to talk about something that plagues all Ableton users and that is latency. So what is latency? Latency is when you record an audio signal into Ableton and all the processing inside of the software causes that audio signal to come in a little bit late. And because of that, your performance won't sound the same when you listen back to it. And this can be very frustrating for musicians when you record like guitar or, or sax or anything into piano, anything that's an audio signal into Ableton. And one of the workarounds is adjusting the buffer rate or the sample rate, but this doesn't really fix the underlying problem. And the best way, really the only way that I figured out how to do it is with this method right here. So let's get right into it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up a new Ableton session and we are going to get rid of these MIDI tracks and we're going to basically arm both of these audio tracks, okay? In one of these tracks, I'm not going to, I'm gonna have the monitoring here where it says in auto and off. We're gonna have that on off. On this other one, we're gonna have auto so we can hear our performance. We're also gonna turn the channel off here. And I'm just gonna record something with my guitar and I want you guys to see the difference in the waves of where they come in, okay? Like where they're recorded. So you can see the track is armed and we're getting signal. You can hear the signal here. Okay, so now we're just gonna record something and hopefully it sounds good. Okay, so now you can see these two waves and from the top view, it really looks like uh, they're the same. It doesn't look like there's any discrepancy in the timing whatsoever, but that's very deceptive. So let's go ahead and zoom in and let's look at the difference. So now zoomed in, you can see, look at how bad that is. Look how much latency is there. I mean, that is how late your performance is coming in. If you're doing this live, there's also another workaround. I can talk about that in another video, but definitely for studio, you have to do this every single time you are recording something into Ableton. Otherwise you're not getting what you actually performed. So um, let's just, uh, Leave it at that, and now you know how. Now you know what to do. So basically, that's how you get rid of latency. That's the best way to get rid of latency in Ableton, is you're gonna need a double track, and that scratch track that isn't being monitored is the one that you're actually gonna use. That's your actual performance. Um, this is the best way to get around the problem, and it's really the only way to get around the problem. For years, I used to produce albums, and I would just go in there and physically, manually move my performance back to where I thought it was right, which is a terrible way to go about it. So I'm very happy to share this knowledge with you. I hope it helped. And if you liked what you just saw uh, and it helped you, please like and subscribe um, because it helps the channel out. Thanks.